I was given the opportunity to open up the first brand new school in the district in 20 years. Being a principal of a new school, you get to start from the ground up and build that culture from the ground up. Having the design be taking into account the pathways themselves, we're able to work our pathway curriculum in a lot easier because it was designed for that. One of the things we really talked about was how do you design a school that inspires student and community aspirations? Thought that was really important. The design of the school really reflects those criteria and it's a more efficient, more effective, more authentic process. The feedback that we're getting even today is, says a lot about how we went about building this school. People were really interested. I'll tell you the evidence was the open house the line staked around the corner. Mr. McBride was a pioneer. He was a steadfast proponent of fairness and equity. The planning process was all about community outreach and industry partners coming together and designing a campus that supported students in a problem and project-based learning environment. We saw so much collaboration between city, between industry, with the school, with higher education, and with the communities at large. If a school is really designed to all of those realities that are identified through that kind of process, I think we have a much more meaningful design that really responds to those uh, aspirations for the community and the students. Long Beach Unified uh, serves four cities. We serve approximately um, a half a million uh, citizens and our student population is around 80,000 students pre-K through 12th grade. What I love about this school is, is that it has this college feel so that when you are on this campus, it's like you're already attending a, a nice liberal arts college. The interesting part about our student makeup is we do not have a typical attendance boundary so kids can come from all over the district and we have kids representing all different parts of Long Beach. In my time as the Link Learning Coordinator for the district, the thing that most excited me about the possibilities at McBride was that it was the first time that I remembered in my educational career and in the academic history of our district that we were building a facility that began with the curriculum and then supported it with the building, with the classroom, with the collaborative space, so that students, when they walk onto the campus, had a physical experience that matched the academic expectation that was gonna be set in the classroom. The small learning communities help to focus the teachers as well as focus the students. Here's a direction that you're going. You know what you're going to get when you graduate. You're going to have this repertoire of skills based on a certain pathway, but that can translate to anything. So it's nice to see that that smaller learning community is not just teaching this one concept, but the skills that will allow them to succeed past high school. I think the most important part is, is that you bring that relevancy into the classroom so the kids understand, you know, why do I need to know algebra? Why do I need to know chemistry? Why do I need to know this? And then being able to attach that to the theme of their SLC, which they're interested in and motivated to, to continue learning. So the labs really played a role when it came to chemistry and in ninth grade. We did a lot of projects where we had to involve cells. So we blended some bananas and spinach, mixed it with another substance, and we were actually able to extract the DNA strands from it. We're not only getting after the curriculum part that's needed, but we're also going into those 21st century skills that are important for our kids, the collaboration, the critical thinking, um, the ethical behavior, those type of things that we spell out in our district profile. Group projects is a very big thing here at McBride. It's all about collaboration, learning to work with one another. So um, my experience has been great. Everybody has a common interest. So you really work hard and diligently to get a job done. We're very fortunate in Southern California to have this great climate. So taking advantage of that outdoor space, being able to use your um, exterior circulation space, not just for fitness and health, but for project-based learning. When you see a lot of different designs at McBride and you see the spaces that are really for collaboration or small group breakout, or even just be able to go outside and have moments of reflection, those are really intentional in the design process and it gives the students as users of the space that choice. Being able to provide the kinds of learning tools that kids need to be successful today and tomorrow and tomorrow's world is so very important. 